I'm Andrew Lavalley, founder of Live the Fast. How can fasting be a solution for problems in the world today? Well, let me take you back to the summer of 2013, to August. Do any of these headlines sound familiar to you? On the brink of another war. The threat of force is real. The United States and many other countries are all heading towards Syria for military action. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, on September 1st in St. Peter's Square, declares a proclamation. What is a proclamation? It's an official announcement dealing with matters of great importance. Peace in the world is of great importance. Pope Francis announced that on Saturday, September 7th, a day of prayer and fasting would be declared for peace in Syria, peace in the Middle East, and peace throughout the world. He went on further to say, I invite each person from all religions, all men of all goodwill, to participate in this event. This is leadership. Take a risk, state your case, and invite all of those to follow. Certainly, the U.S. Catholic Conference of Bishops recognized the power of prayer and fasting. This is why they've asked us to fast and pray on Fridays for life, for family, and for religious freedom. So what happened in Syria? The world came close to a major disaster. But when all of us came together and united under one common cause, heaven responded and a peaceful solution was met. In our fast-paced world, sometimes these things come and go pretty quickly. But the success of this proclamation is paramount, and it must not be overlooked. It's a bridge. It's a message from, uh, from heaven on our call to fast. In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus states specifically, and when you fast, and he reaffirms it in a few sentences later by saying, But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, that fasting may not be seen by men, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who is in secret will reward you. Jesus chooses his words carefully. He's not saying to us, if by the way we should consider fasting. He's saying, when we Fast. Fasting is a difficult teaching, but our Lord, he wouldn't ask us to do this unless it was vitally important in each one of our lives. Let us remember this quote from St. Francis de Sales, who said, The enemy, nevertheless, stands more in awe of those whom he knows can fast. I'd like to leave you with this one question to ponder. What if your fasting could change the world? It can. Join the fasting movement at livethefast.com.